Hi guys, this is Rashid and you are watching Step by Step Robotics. So today I would like to show you how we can control the AT cards with the ROS navigation stack. So we're going to use a slam from ROS package and send the command velocity to this AT card wheels and we can navigate this robot into this room. So if you don't know what is this AT card wheels, I recommend you to check out my videos about how I can hack the wheelchair and turn it into the robot. Let me show you what is the components on this UGV. And this is the UGV that we're going to use for today. So at the back here, this is the uh, main power source, the 6 cell battery leak pool and we're gonna use the AT Drive Mode app for today. So the AT Drive Mode app is the motor and I.O. control board. So we can directly send the packet back to the wheels controller from this cable. So we have the RC receiver, which we're gonna get the SBUS signal back to the MOAB board. And we can control the UGV by the manual from this uh, transmitter for example here push the stick up and down and you can switch to the hole and manual and auto mode so this can prevent the robot to hit things for something when it's running in auto mode so the main pc that we're going to use for today is the distance software so we're going to run the um, ROS and slam in here so I'm gonna use this GLINET Wi-Fi router so I can running the office from my PC and uh, Moab will communicate with the uh, master computer with this Ethernet communication. So I'm gonna use this YD LiDAR for the laser scanner and for the odometry source, I'm gonna use this RealSense T265 which is the tracking modules from the Intel RealSense. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is um, there are two step process. So first one is making the map of this room and then navigate the robot into that map. So I'm gonna use the Hector Slam for making the map. And you can find it in the ROS wiki here. So for the laser scanner, I'm gonna use YD LiDAR. There is a ROS package that you can easily running the scan uh, from here. So make sure that you have these two package. And let me show you the codes a little bit more. So this is the tutorial.launch, which is from the Hector Slam launch and launch file. So I changed the values of true here as to false because we're going to use the real robot and it's going to run this mapping default.launch and on this file we need to change the base frame to the baseline and odon frame to baseline as well and lastly here uh, you have to add this TF um, static transform publisher and I'm not gonna use uh, any values of these. And for the tt.launch, which is from YD LiDAR ROS, uh, make sure that you have this TF uh, static transform publisher as well. So here are the launch file that you need for generating the map. So here you can see there are eight terminals opening up right now. So four of these are the robot and four of these are my PC. So we are in the same network right now and I already secure shell into there. And I'm gonna run ROS call on my robot side. So first of all, I would like to make sure that my laser scan is working or not by running uh, ROS launch and YD LiDAR ROS and TG.launch. Then on my uh, PC, I'm gonna run Arvis here. So I'm gonna add the laser scan topic by adding it to there and you just change the topic to the scan and here we go so let's change the wheel type to the top down like this and 
maybe better to add the grid cell to 30. Uh, let me bring it down. So before we making the map, I would like to make sure that the, some of the feature is quite aligned on the grid. For example, this is the wall of the, my backside uh, room. And so when we have the final map, it's quite makes sense that uh, your maps coordinate and your real world coordinate is quite true. So I'm going to drive the robot by using this transmitter. And you can see that uh, if I drive the robot to this side, it's going to change the points in the office. So I will try to make this wall uh, parallel to the line of the grid as much as possible and this looks quite okay for me and as you can see there that is my robot starting position I just make some marker uh, for the initial pose of that it's like an origin of the map and these are the room that we're gonna make the map so let's see so I'm gonna run the Hector Slam on one of my robot terminals here uh, by the ROS launch and hit the slam launch and uh, tutorial run file. Okay, so I'm gonna drive my robot by using the RC transmitter here so I don't need to push the robot by myself and this could be a good way to making the map and okay I'm gonna start it here so I'm gonna add the map topic uh, here and just change the topic to map and change the fixed frame to map okay so here we go I'm gonna drive the robot around in this room let's see how it's gonna be Okay, so our map is already generated. Here is the final result of that. So I'm gonna save the map by using the map saver. So let me navigate to the place where I want to save. Here, okay, there's a lot of map here. Then I'm gonna, um, so I'm gonna run ROS run and map server and map saver dash f and second floor as the name of the map is okay so it's just save the map as the second floor dot pgm and yam file okay so we just finished making the map of this room and next we're gonna use that map to the ROS navigation stack. So first, I just want to show you what is my move base launch file. So here, we're gonna start the map from the map server. So this is the map that we just created. And we're gonna start the laser scan, same as we running the Hector Slam. So this is the TT30 from YD LiDAR ROS. And also we're gonna use RealSense T265 as the odometry source. And 
we need to convert the odometry from RealSense to the UGV odometry. So I'm using this generate odom.py that I just create. So let's check on this uh, script a little bit to see what I've done. So I'm just make the publisher of the card odom and then after I got the odometry data of the camera as position, orientation, and the twist of both, I just make some uh, offset of that because my camera is placing in front of the UGV. So when the UGV turns, that is not the correct uh, odometry of the UGV. So there is some offset of the length from the camera to the axis of the UGV. So this sensor offset is 0 0.575, which is 57.5 uh, centimeters. So after we got the uh, sensor offset, we can calculate the offset of X and Y, and we can feed that into this XY, uh, XU and YU of the UGV, which this is the origin of the UGV. So we just uh, fill that information to the transform and send this transform to the transform broadcaster. And then we can fill this information to the odometry and just publish that odom data. So let's go back to the move base a little bit more. So here it is the move base um, YAMS five parameters, which is the cost map, local and global. And also the I'm using the base local planner for my move base. Then um, last one is the AMCL diff launch file, which I just modify from the AMCL diff example. So here I just modify a little bit to uh, adjust the odom frame ID to card odom frame and transform tolerance to 0 0.2 and also some of the min and max particles change to a little bit smaller values. So this kind of parameters you need to tweak according to your UGV and your sensors. And also this is the, my base local planner params. And the velocity limit and acceleration limits are set at here. So the XY go tolerance are set a little bit higher at 0 0.2. So it will stop 20 centimeters before the goal point. And same as the your goal tolerance. And also this is the cost map common params. So I can define my footprint of the robot as here. And the global cost map param is as here. The resolution is a little bit lower than the default because there's some space that the robot, um, it's quite a narrow space in my map. So I use the quite uh, lower resolution. And same as the local cost map, I'm using this resolution as this one. And this is the inflation radius for my local cost map. Okay, so the move base output will be the command velocity. So we need to convert that to the proper form of the command that the MOAB will get. So I made this, this script called uh, atcard slam autodrive.py, which gonna convert the command velocity to the RPM of the uh, right side and left side wheels. So here we just subscribe on the command velocity and then once we got the linear x and angular set here we will use this kinematics of the mobile robot to convert that um, linear and angular velocity to the rpm left and rpm right and after we got that rpms we can send it to use this send float commands and it's gonna send these two floats to the port of the MOAB. So that is the codes and the parameters that we need to run and load. So I'm gonna run my movebase.launch and also I'm gonna open the RBase on my side and we we'll try to send the navigation go to the robot and let's see how it's gonna move. So first we need to run the, let me clear this a little bit more, loss. So I'm in my uh, directory of the move base, then I'm gonna run loss launch and move base dot launch. 
And on my PC here, I'm going to run rvis and rvis. And then I have my config file, which I already made for the slam with the T265. So just open there. Okay, so uh, I will need to uh, do some post estimate a little bit. So my robot is at the origin of the map. So here I can click it there and it will just be there. So I will move the robot a little bit by my IC transmitter. So you can see that the AMCL will adjust this laser scanner to the map by itself. So after I move a little bit, then it will slightly adjust itself. Okay, this looks good enough. So I'm so I'm gonna send the 2D nav goal by clicking on here, and I'm gonna set it maybe around here at first. Let's see how it's gonna move. Then I'm gonna start my Python script, the AT cut slam auto drive .py. Then once I change the mode to auto, then it's gonna move. Okay. Roughly, it works quite okay. Okay, so I would let him go into here and let him move into the next room. And that is how we can control the AT card UGV with the ROS navigation stack. So if you are ROS developers and you have noticed that my code or my launch file or my script that looks a little bit strange, so please don't angry at me because I'm also new on ROS. I've been working on ROS just some few months ago. So there's a lot of things that I need to improve and there's a lot of things that I have to learn on these. So if you like my robot journey video, please press like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you soon.